Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a hotspot and also to authenticate the users using a radius server. So first thing that we are going to do is we are going to go to wireless, security profile and disable the security security that is on your wireless because when the user connect to your Wi-Fi they will be authenticated um, via the radio server so we're going to disable the authentication and next we're going to change the SSID you can change this to whatever you want I'm going to change this to hotspot now we're going to create a new bridge so we're going to go to bridge we're going to add a bridge I'm going to call this bridge bridge dot hot hot spot okay and uh, we're going to put the port the one port the wireless which is WLAN 1 we're going to put that into bridge into the hotspot bridge okay so now we have two bridges one for hotspot and one regular bridge and the Wi-Fi is in in that bridge next we're going to go to IP addresses I'm going to assign an IP address to to the white to the hotspot bridge. So we're gonna call this 192.168. Dot. Uh, we're gonna call this six. Dot one slash twenty four. Apply. So that is the IP address that is assigned to the bridge for the hotspot. Then now we are going to go to IP hotspot then click on servers click hotspot setup I'm going to select the bridge hotspot as the interface that we're going to use next next it it um, for the pool it automatically creates a range for the pool if you if you if you need to you can also change it but I'm going to just leave it leave the default so I'm going to leave the default next I'm going to leave this also this DNS server I'm going to leave that too alright for DNS name this is the name that you can give your hotspot so if someone type that in in their browser address bar it will bring bring them to the hotspot page so we're going to call this hot dot spot you can name this anything that you want next all right this is the default user for the hotspot so we're just going to give this user a password i'm going to use password uh, but you should always use a secure password uh, all the time next and then so now we have created um, a hotspot next thing that we are going to do now is to edit the hotspot so just double click on this and the first thing that we are going to change is address per Mac so so what this means is that it will allow two connections per MAC address but we don't want to do that because that is a security risk because someone can actually spoof a user's MAC address and connect as them so we're going to skip that we're going to change that to one so only one connection per MAC address click OK next we're going to go to server profile we're going to edit the hotspot so, so these, this is the hotspot that was, this is what the 
the system created uh, um, for us when we were going through the configuration and you see all of these things that were configured previously we're going to go to radius and we're going to check this box to enable radius that's the only thing that we're going to do here click OK now we're going to go over to okay one other thing we're going to go back to hotspot click on login because we had already enabled radius if you want to use cookie mean that if a user is logged in and they got disconnected from 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 the hotspot and then the user comes back and then connects again it will ask them to authenticate again it will use a cookie to authenticate the user if you don't want that you can you could al always disable this also if you have a trial if you want users to try out the hotspot you can also have a trial and you can set the trial period for the user but we're not going to have a trial um, feature enabled in ours so all we're going to do is just ok this alright now we're going to go to radius oh and one other thing just to make sure system packages ensure that you have user manager package installed and you can if you don't know to install packages you can look at tutorial 5 uh, where I show you, showed you how to install packages so ensure that user manager is installed because that is what um, the radius server will be using to to authenticate the users so you're going to click on radius then we're going to add a radius server the address we're going to put in 127.0.0.1 and the reason why we're using this address which is a loopback address is because the the radio server is actually on the same server that is running the hotspot if it was on a different server you would have to put in the IP address for that other server um, the secret now is what would be used to authenticate user manager with the radio server so we're going to just use um you can use anything that you want so i'm going to use a, a password here all right so the next thing that you need to do is to check this box that says hotspot service apply okay next click on incoming and check the box that says accept okay now you need to reboot your router So the next step is to open your browser and you're going to go to the IP address that is the IP address for the hotspot which is the 6.1 you're going to put userman at the end so just type that IP the URL just like this so whatever IP address you use type that then type userman at the end enter and then you will present it with a login page so the default user is admin and there is no password for the user manager so you're going to click login so this is a user manager page and this is where you'd go to uh, make configuration add users set profiles and so forth so first thing that we're going to do is go to routers click add new and we're going to create a new new router so we're going to call this hotspot IP address is going to be the loopback address 127.0.0.1 and uh, the secret would be the password you remember that password that we entered previously um, when we were creating the radio server for mine was just 123 but you should use always this is just for demonstration purposes so i'm using one two three as 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 a secret code there okay next we're going to just add oh i didn't spell this properly um, add spot 
Okay. All right, the next thing step is to go to customers and this login is the default is the default login for user manager. Remember that we just log into user manager and we didn't put a password. So now you should you should create a password for this user. And save that. So that's for the admin account. Next, we're going to create some profiles. Click on profiles. Click add. All right, for this profile, we're going to call this um, brands. You can name your profile anything that you want. We're going to create a new limitation. So the limitation is really um, like speed limits when the user can connect and um, things like that. And then we're going to create a new limit. I'm going to call this limit bronze. Got a rate. All right, so here, here's the tricky part now. So the rate now is the Rx is actually your your upload speed and your TX is your download speed. So say for instance this user is going to get 128k upload and 1 megabyte download. Or we're going to save, we're going to add that that profile then we're going to click add so now we have assigned up a, um, a limit a limitation to the profile and then we're going to click save profile okay so the profile is saved and we have a limitation so we have one limitation you can go ahead and create as much limitation as possible but we're just going to create one for this tutorial. So now we're going to create users. So click on users, click add, and we're going to create one user. We're going to call this user test. And just give the user a password. And the profile you realize by default, because we only have one profile, it's actually assigned that profile to the user. So we're going to just click add so we have now created a user all right so we're going to just test the hotspot now all right so we're going to connect to the hotspot connect so automatically when you connect to the hotspot it will redirect you to the the user to the login page so remember we had created a username test test and uh, the password was uh, password click OK and now we have just created a hotspot and authenticate the user um, user using a radio server um, there's a lot more to hotspot than this but I'm just giving you the basic um, understanding our information so you can actually get started in terms of creating your own so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you have any comments please leave them and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching